Also tonight, we have new insight now into what happened before that shooting began on Saturday night. 7 News senior reporter Maki Becker explaining tonight the role that a large fight may have had prior to the gunshots and how this gun violence may contradict a larger trend in the Queen City. video shows the chaotic scene minutes before a mass shooting that claimed the life of a 14-year-old girl and injured five other teens Saturday night. Our belief at this time that that fight had something to do with this shooting. On Monday, police continuing their search for the gunman while also trying to prevent the next deadly shooting. Buffalo has seen multiple acts of gun violence over the last couple of weeks, but the shootings come as gun violence in the city has actually dropped since 2020. Take a look at these numbers provided by the Buffalo Police Department. The number of people who were shot skyrocketed to 347 in 2020. That dropped to less than half by last year. And for shooting incidents, so figure multiple people shot in some incidents, that showed a similar dramatic drop. And it's the same for gun-related homicides, from a high of 59 people killed in 2021 down to 25 last year. Stats for this year so far also seem to show a mostly downward trend. Buffalo police say their strategy of sending patrol officers to shooting hotspots has helped them drive down gun violence. First Deputy Commissioner Alphonse Wright explained how it works. Crime analysts identify areas where there have been recent shootings or shots fired calls. The patrol cars are sent there, the officers park, turn their lights on, and then walk the neighborhood. You get to know your neighbors, police is visible, the cars are visible, the lights are visible, and people actually come up and talk to the officers because they'll see them out. He tells me it's a simple way to deter crime. I don't think you're going to commit a, a crime in front of the officer if there you see lights and sirens and officers are walking. Police saying they'll be stepping up those directed patrols in the area of the shooting. Maki Becker, 7 News, Buffalo.